Hey everyone, welcome back to another video here at Lovin' Off The Land. As you can see, we had a good uh, couple days fishing here out in the Gulf Islands. And one of the things that we love to do is make our own home candied salmon. Uh, it's super easy to do. So we showed you last week how to make your salmon lox, which is super easy. This is a similar start uh, doing a cure on it, except it's in more of a brine. And we're gonna cure that for 24 hours. And then we're gonna put it into a smoker and show you how to candy it out of the proper way. Save some hot smoked candied salmon. So first thing you wanna do is just kind of slice your fillets uh, into strips here. I'm just gonna cut this down to middle, down the middle, and then do some side pieces. You can skin it beforehand. We find that it comes off a lot easier um, afterwards and you don't lose any meat after you've cured it. This kind of peels off that skin and you don't lose a single thing. So we like to leave that on, but you can skin it beforehand if you prefer as well. So we're just gonna cut these into strips. And we've got some nice little pieces here and we're just gonna do a couple of these fillets. So we'll get these chopped up and then come back and show you the cure that we're gonna make here. Yeah, this is nice, beautiful coho salmon. So you can see that nice red color, the belly fat kind of underneath there. So this is a nice looking, nice looking piece of fish. And we've got our Ziploc bag here, which is what we're gonna cure them in. So we're just gonna start firing these in here to make room for the next ones. And the size that you're cutting is really up to you. They can be bigger pieces, you can make them smaller pieces. These are gonna shrink a little bit uh, as we smoke them in the hot smoker, so keep that in mind, but they can be of different sizes. You can pull the smaller ones out earlier, or we find it's kind of nice to have some that are more smoked than others, so it's not quite the same as when you're doing locks and you want that consistent size the whole way through. These ones can have a little bit more variety to them. So we're probably gonna do two bags here, and this is half of our amount of fish. That's probably a good spot to break it up. You don't wanna fill up the bag too much because you do want room for all of your brine to go in there. So uh, what you wanna do for each bag, again, this isn't exact. We kinda gave you on half of one of these large Ziploc bags. Uh, we do one cup of salt. We use kosher salt. One cup of brown sugar. That's gonna give it that sweetness. Then we also put in a bunch of garlic powder just for a bit of extra flavoring. So a couple of teaspoons of that. Secret ingredient, who doesn't like a little gin flavor on their salmon? So we're gonna include a little bit of gin. And save that other half for the second bag. And then we have about 375 mils of water. We can top this up a little bit more if this isn't gonna cover all of our salmon, but this should do the trick. And that looks like it's gonna be pretty darn close to covering everything there. So we're gonna seal this up and press some of the air out of it. And this is gonna go into the fridge for 24 hours now. And make sure you've got that nice and properly sealed. So what you are going to want to do is rotate it uh, every few hours, obviously you don't need to do it throughout the night, uh, but make sure you're mixing up that liquid, getting that brine nice and mixed in there, moving that salt around, especially as it's kind of dissolving into that liquid at the beginning. So we're just going to put that uh, into a tray, lay that nice and flat in our fridge and get that as covered as possible. Every couple hours we're just going to kind of come in, flip that over and do the other side. Let that cure for 24 hours, and then we're gonna come back tomorrow and uh, show you smoking it and the glazing that we put on it to make this delicious candied salmon. So, we'll see you back here in 24 hours. All right, welcome back. This is super exciting. We get to eat some candied salmon later today. Um, so we've taken the brine out of these bags and kind of drained that. Um, and now we are just going to lay them out on our trays here that we're gonna get in the smoker. And we've also used some maple syrup 
This is just what we had at home. Don't kill me for not using real Canadian maple syrup. I'm sorry. Uh, and brown sugar. So we've got those mixed in together and that's just gonna be a glaze that goes on to top, on top of these once we've got them all laid out on our tray here. So we put tin foil on our tray. We like to do that um, just so everything doesn't kind of drip down into the bottom of our smoker and also find that they don't stick as much as they do um, if you're just onto the kind of metal wire rack that's on there. Like I said as well, you can't take the skin off uh, earlier on if you want to do that. We find you kind of, even if you're a good skilled butcher, you lose a little bit of meat. So uh, we just leave the skin on there and it peels right off um, once this has been smoked in the smoker. So let's organize these. Try and get them all as much skin down as you can. And that way you're gonna maximize the glaze that's gonna go uh, onto this candied salmon. And, uh, get that nice like gin, kind of sweet, salty smell on there, which is going to be delicious. And once we get these going in the smoker, we're actually gonna kind of glaze these every two hours or so. Um, depending on how hot your smoker gets, we kind of slow smoke them um, here. So we're probably gonna take us about six hours um, of smoking, but uh, so we'll probably do this three times in between for glazing these up as well. So, lesson learned, if you're doing this yourself, you may want to do this inside, or the wasps can't get to them before you put them in your smoker, but oh well. And that is it. So we're gonna fire these into the smoker. We're gonna load these up uh, on all five trays and uh, get them in, and we'll come back in two hours uh, and show you how they're looking and how we look each time we open it up uh, and get another layer of glaze on there. Uh, smoking chips, these ones are cherry, but you can kind of use whatever you want, whether you want apple chips, or you can buy the kind of compact pellets that you can put in there too, but uh, we're using some cherry wood chips for smoking these, and we'll get them in the smoker. All right, so that has been two hours. We've kind of pulled out two trays here. Uh, we're gonna do a reglaze, but one of the most important things to do during this is your heating element, depending on your smoker, is normally at the bottom. Uh, it is in the unit like this. So what we're gonna do is the one on the top is gonna to go into the bottom, and then we're gonna move each tray up. You'll see when we grab that bottom one, it's a lot more kind of cooked than the top ones are. So that's why we are going to do it that way. So just another quick coat on here. You wanted to kind of flip them over and get different sides to get them better coated you can do that as well they're still okay now on the next one i might bring out a bowl and just kind of drip off some of this liquid that's on the bottom here just because you are going to get some of that coming out as these continue to cook and just a quick glaze like that before the wasps get it ready to go uh, we're going to do each of these trays and like i said move them up uh, one rack from the top one to the bottom just so you kind of get that even cooked by the end of it. So we'll check back in uh, at the end of this and show you our finished product. All right, so it has been six hours. Let's open this up and see what these guys are looking like here. Like I said, we've been taking these out uh, every hour and a half or so, uh, basting them again and sort of moving them down that rack to make sure they're all nice and evenly cooked. So these ones on the bottom get more heat. And you can see, how awesome those look there. That's uh, 
nice coating on them, nice dark color. That's exactly how you kind of want that to turn out. So that's how easy it is to make candied salmon. It does take a bit of time, um, especially when you're smoking them because you do have to come back every hour and a half, two hours, um, move them up and down the smoker as well as reglaze them. Um, but that is a delicious piece of candied salmon. So we hope you found this useful. Try this out at home and let us know if you like it. And we'll see you guys next week for another video.